Alrighty, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, well, Jack is here. I'll have to redo Jack. Uh, one of the, the biggest things right now in the job market, if you look at it, 43.1 million people right now have filed for unemployment. So basically our project this week is we're going to look at the jobs that are out there uh, and how hard it is. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over my screen to that, and then we're going to have an open discussion about this. Uh, hopefully I can. There we go. Come on. Okay, so the project this week is unemployment. So basically what you guys are going to have to do is you're going to have to write a one-page paper. Uh, the paper must be an area or Times New Roman, must be size 12 font, and it can be double-spaced all the way down. Uh, just try to get a full page. You don't have to get a complete full page. Um, basically, you're answering the questions. If you were looking for a job, how many of you would, or how would you find a job to support your family? What type of job would you look for? How would you dress for the interview? What type of questions would you ask during the interview? Um, what questions do you not ask during an interview? What areas are there open right now in Ohio for jobs? Um, how do you make sure you're the one that gets hired? Um, do you think the economy will bounce back? Why or why not? And then going forward, how do you prepare yourself for getting a job in the future? So that is basically the assignment. Does anybody have any questions on that? No? All right. Now, looking at the job outlook, um, what do you guys see? I mean, it, it kind of is a scary time in the United States as far as work right now. So what do you guys – how you feel? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this, so you guys need to undo your mics and let's talk. Well, job outlook wise, like a lot of stuff starting to open back up, but that could all crash again because it might have another bounce back, like they say it's gonna do in the fall. Yeah, agreed, Jack. That's a that's a very good point. Um, and a lot of put, you know, a lot of factories didn't even shut down. Um, I think we woke up as the United States and realized that we have to make more stuff here. I think that's important. Um, what types of jobs do you guys think are open? Like drug mart and grocery stores that supply food and clothes. Yeah, there's a lot of that type. Of, you're right, Lex. There's a lot of those type of jobs. What else? What other types of jobs? Like police officers. And like yeah. Like yeah. You know, if you look at that though, what do you, how do you guys feel about crime? Is it down or is it up? Down. It's it's actually down because I think people have stayed home. Um probably more you know, things happen in the home, but other than that, um do you guys think theft could start happening? So police officers would be needed for that. Riots and stuff might start happening in big cities if they the quarantine lasts too long yeah well i mean how do you guys feel about the the you know you're looking at it rights being taken away um our american freedom how do you guys feel about that would you rather die from a sickness or stay home and be healthy well the way i'm thinking is like a lot of the gov like the governors like in virginia they're kind of abusing the power a little much yeah just to pass like laws that are with their party and it goes both ways yeah i think that's a good point dustin kens caleb you guys need to talk some how do you guys feel and i agree with that i mean i think there's been abuse of power but i also think it's you know set up to protect us it doesn't mean we can't voice our opinions or get a hold of our I mean, what can you guys do if you were against something that the government's doing? Well, you can peacefully protest. Yeah, you can peacefully protest. Even without even protesting, what else could you do? Like, if there's something you don't like. And I know we're getting into a little bit of government, but what could you do? 
You can petition. Um, yeah, there's a lot of petitions going right now, um, especially for that two-day a, a week school next year, like on two, and then you'd be uh, Zooming for the other two. Oh, kitty. <laughs> what do you think, Dust, Kens, Caleb? What else could you do to be involved in the government? Well, you could do what you want to do as long as you're doing it safely, like they're doing weddings where people like park outside or churches where people park outside and they're, it's broadcasted through like their radios and their car. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's true. Um, what I'm thinking, though, is you guys actually could write your – local politicians, the ones that are serving and try to get your voice heard. Because otherwise, democracy doesn't work. I mean, democracy is run because of people, and that's the important thing. So um, looking at jobs, though, what other jobs are there, like, in the world that you know you could get right now? I mean, we said grocery store. We said police and firefighters. What other ones are out there? Um, a lot of restaurants are still looking for, like, people to uh like run food out to uh yeah that's a good one too is restaurants um the thing with restaurants hopefully you know people go back to shopping locally and support these restaurants because otherwise they're going to close down that's it's kind of a scary place for them on the well, that's a good one on the 21st we're opening back up yeah which one what is it uh, the diner Oh, the diner. Social distancing. Because we have to, like, separate tables and stuff. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, I think the diner's been around since, what, the 1960s in Jefferson? Right around. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Caleb, what do you think? What other types of jobs are out there? Because, like I said, you guys are going to have to be able to answer these, so. Oh. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. Well, you got to think about this. I mean, is your dad still working? Mom's still working? Oh, well, yeah, my dad works at Lake Erie College, which that that's kind of it's kind of shaky right now. Yeah, because he doesn't know what, what's going to happen. He just goes day by day. He just... Yeah, and that's the thing. I think they're still going to try to you know go through with college and you know uh, have online classes and stuff like that. So now he's an engineer there. What does he? Is that the type? He basically, if something's broken on campus, he fixes it. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Very good. Ken's, what about you? What types of other jobs? Uh, like the medical field. Yeah, I and mean, that's the biggest one. I don't think anybody's mentioned that. Like, they've let nurses, you know, um, graduate early um, that were pretty close to being finished. So, that's Ken's, that's a very good one. And there's all types of uh, fields in the medical. Now that they're doing new types of testing, um, that's that's huge. So good, Ken's Dust. What do you got for us? Dustin, are you awake? It's just like class, I'd have to be able there shaking you. I need my poker stick. No. Um, if now looking at our assignment, how you guys got to write a page paper, how do you guys feel about it? Do you guys think the economy is going to bounce back? I think it will eventually, but right now everybody's going to flock out and then get sick again. So then we're going to be putting another stay at home. Yeah. Okay. Well, after as soon as it's like gets out. Like, as soon as we're all allowed out of our house, our, our economy is going to skyrocket because people are going to be out and buying things. Yeah. But you got to look at this, too. You got to have money to buy things. So, yeah. But I agree with you. I think people go back to work. I think we're, I think this is in a roundabout way going to benefit us, too, because I think people are going to, you know, be more sincere. It's going to be more about, you know, the United States, I think a lot more jobs will be created that way. I think there's going to be a lot more going back to manufacturing and making stuff in the United States because 
you guys think about it. Is that one thing that's basically got our attention that we have to make more stuff in the United States? Yeah. I mean, think about the, I mean, for medical, the, the mask and all the supplies that they need. I mean, we can't get it. So, I mean, that's important. So we need to man, be able to manufacture that here. That's, that's jobs in itself. I mean, look at the, what's making them, uh, the car industry, they're making them inside the plants, the mask. They're also making ventilators and for the medical field. So um, that's opened up a ton of jobs. Um, do you think there's going to be a recession because of this? Yes and no, because my mom was saying how it's been more beneficial for us to be in contact with people, but not in large groups. Just so this is being quarantined is making our immune systems weaker. Yeah. And that's, there's a big discussion on that. Has this had more of an effect on us because we're not, you know, fighting off building up our antibodies that can fight off that. So that's good. It's good. Uh, anybody else? You guys have any questions about the assignment? Okay. Wednesday, we are going to have a, another group because we've gone about 15 minutes. Um, we're going to have another discussion like this. Um, I'll come up with a, a topic for Wednesday and we'll kind of just talk about it. But you got to be willing to talk, everybody. Dustin, you got to wake up. Got to talk. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to remain on here. I'll just keep it open. Um, I might be working on something, but you guys can just go ahead and say, hey, Mr. Furman, I have a question. Um, I'd work on your papers. It's only one page. Um, I'm not looking for craziness, but I want you guys to, to really think about this. If you had to get a job, what are some things you would do? Like interview questions, what are some questions you can't ask? See if you guys were paying attention. Like personal questions or like what the job's going to be paid, like what you're going to get paid during. Yeah, you don't want to definitely ask what you're going to get paid. That is huge. Or any of the benefits. Why don't you want to ask those? Because it'll make you seem unprofessional, like you're rushing into things and that's all you care about. Yeah, and you're greedy and, yep, very good. So and everybody understand that. Those, those are type. Now, what type of questions can you ask about jobs? What the people are like. Yeah, you could say, what is the work environment like? That's a good one. What else? Hours. Caleb, go ahead. Hours. You can ask your hours. What was that? You can ask what hours you work. Yeah. Are you working first shift, second shift, third uh, and just in line with that, you can even ask, you know, what are your expectations of me in this position? So that's a good one. Jack, you have something? Uh, your daily duties, like where you would be working. Yeah. What do you, what are your expectations of me daily? Those are all great questions. And I'm telling you, that's going to help you. Even if it's a simple job as you guys going and applying at McDonald's, those are all things that are going to help you guys. Um, so any questions on that? No? Okay. Well, that's all I have. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep this on for 15 minutes. Jack, I want to make sure I give you attendance because I took attendance before you got on here. Um, they are, like I said, they're paying attention to this. So you guys got to make sure you're on. Um, Ken, do you have any questions about assignments? No, I'm good. You sure? Because I got to get some from you. Yeah. You got to get Because you got about two weeks left. So, okay. And then uh, I'll help you. You, have, you guys have any questions? That's what this time will be for. Um, I think everybody else, you guys good on assignments? I think everybody has everything in. Dust, do you owe me something? I think you're good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I'll keep this on. I'm going to work on other things. But uh, you guys are more than welcome to chime in, okay? So get started on that paper. <laughs>